Ho, ho, ho. Hide over here in this hole I dug. <laughs> Good job, land management guy. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Seasonal events in MMORPGs are unique events in the world that tend to only take place once or twice a year, causing players to either jump in on mass gatherings to get the tasks done, or miss out and wait till the event pops up a year later to get those cool rewards. These events are meant to feel special, and at times they will represent real-world holidays such as Christmas and Halloween, and other times they are made up completely to fit in the world you are playing. In Ashes of Creation, this is one of the few systems that, from what we know about, won't throw its own complex twists on like Intrepid likes to do. I mean, it would be really hard to do as these events normally are meant to be a fun and casual oriented event that don't offer a huge amount of effort, but maybe a bit of time if you're looking to get all of the rewards from it. Events in Ashes of Creation will not be a direct parallel with real world events. Each event will have its own in-game lore around it and it could potentially tie into real world events in some way, but not just be a copy of them. So basically, Santa is actually a Tolnar in Vera who stocked up on gifts for thousands of years in the Underrealm, knowing that eventually the gateways would open and the children would return and he would welcome them back because there was no Santa in Sanctus. It was a world without magic, so those poor kids were just left out. I'm going with that. Make it official, Steven. Anyways, Intrepid is also working to tie the races into various events, creating some cultural identity between them. So, a holiday might be going on, but depending on the race you are, you might have a different perspective to that said holiday. We actually know a bit about a few of the races take from a cosmetic pack last year. This seems to resemble the Christmas holiday and how some of these races experience it. For the Dunir, the clan matriarch's husband is ordered to visit the home of each of his clan's children, bringing gifts and tales of yore. This occasion sees an elder warrior of the Dunir equate himself with the younger dwarves. This basically sounds like the matriarch's husband is Santa Claus, essentially burning gifts to all the kids. The Pyre, on the other hand, have a much different approach. They take time during the winter solstice to honor the life-supporting trees within their communities, hanging exquisite crystals from the branches with the help of arcane art, which can be seen in the night with a soft, warm, glowing light. The Veiloon during the winter evenings gather together in groups for games, food, songs, and sky watching. Out looking for shooting stars, and if a brilliant streak is spotted, the company mounts up and gallops off in the direction of the star, where legend says if one finds where the star fell, their fortunes will be changed forever. It's really interesting to hear the differences of the winter months from race to race, but I'm curious as how Intrepid will actually handle this, as we won't be seeing holiday events going off the server season rotation, but off the yearly calendar, because because server seasons are on a weekly basis. They change every week, so I doubt we're gonna see these winter holidays every four weeks, but it's not impossible, it could happen. This means it may not always be winter when that time of year falls. Depending on the seasonal rotation that Intrepid sets and also world events that can change up the season, not every event may fall in a season that it resembles in the real world. So it might not be fall time in these Halloween events or might not be winter time in these Christmas events. It all is based on how your server seasons fall, but it is also possible for these events to alter these seasons depending on which ones, but it doesn't sound like every event is going to do this. Having each season feel a little bit different for each of the nine races will also create a challenge with balancing these events in a way, making them equally as fun if they plan to have each event different depending on your race. But what the, it could just mean that lore-wise it's going to be different, so the elves in your node might react differently than the dwarves in your node would, and it might not actually change the event itself, but I think it'd be really fun perhaps if Intrepid did something as each race had their own version of this event, but you could go out and experience these events for any of the races, so really mixing it up and getting a unique taste of how every culture in Vera experiences it, going from dwarf to human to elf to orc to Tolnar civilization, and really just getting a feel for our, the whole culture built around those races. All events in the world of Vera are optional. You aren't required to take part in them, but players may miss out on some cool rewards if they choose 
used to skip it, such as XP, items, and resources. Players will be able to accept or decline an event in a way similar to accepting or declining a quest. I really hope that Intrepid puts time into these events, making them feel unique from not only each other, but also other MMO events that we've seen, and have some pretty cool seasonal rewards. I hate it when you see events thrown out that people engage in for the first week and then it dies out completely, and putting some awesome rewards into it along with quests and activities that pull these servers together with a common goal will make for much more fun times, giving you those more nostalgic memories that stick with you for a long while. It needs to be more than go collect these things from each zone or go kill this one guy over here and then turn in a quest. Those types of events tend to get stale really quickly, especially each year after year when you're doing the exact same one and they don't change up at all. Intrepid really needs to dig deep into the creativity of these events, not only giving us great events for the holidays we are familiar with, but bringing in the new events throughout the year as well that we aren't familiar with in the beginning, allowing us to jump in and celebrate the lore of Vera, taking us out to explore the different regions. What do you guys want to see out of holiday events in Ashes of Creation? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally jump foot into the world of Vera itself. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.